Why is radioactivity so harmful to humans and the environment? In movies, radioactivity is often described as a green liquid that escapes from a barrel of toxic products to produce three-eyed fish or humans with superpowers. However, the radioactivity is not as dramatic and is generally not green either. Humans use radioactivity at all times and in various fields, from medicine to food production. Radioactivity, though it may seem scary, is simply the loss of different particles in the core of an element, thus releasing energy as they change. Each element contains a characteristic amount of protons and neutrons, tiny particles within an atom that make up their core or nucleus. The amount of protons in an element gives it its identity, called the atomic number. Put simply, radioactivity is the sequence of unstable nuclei that disintegrate and project particles that disintegrate the nuclei nearby. The chain reaction lasts more or less long depending on the atoms involved. During radioactivity, the atom loses some neutrons and or protons, physically transforming it into another element and emitting large amounts of energy. This process occurs randomly in nature, but it can also be created by humans, such as inside a nuclear reactor for example. There are different types of radioactivity depending on the particles or the energy released during the reaction. The three types are alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays. The different types of radioactivity. Named alpha because they were the first to be discovered, the alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons, the nucleus of helium. Large atoms often disintegrate by emitting an energetic alpha particle. These particles are relatively large and positively charged and therefore do not penetrate the material very well. A thin sheet of paper can stop almost all the alpha particles. Beta particles are energetic electrons emitted by the nucleus. They are created when a neutron disintegrates into a proton. Some isotopes disintegrate by converting a proton into a neutron, thereby emitting a positron. These particles can penetrate the material more than the alpha particles, and at least one aluminium plate is needed to block most beta particles. Finally, gamma rays are photons emitted by the nucleus. Often an atom in an excited state will de-energize by emitting a gamma ray. Gamma rays are similar to light waves and x-rays, except that they usually have a much higher frequency and therefore more energy. This radiation is free of charge and can easily penetrate into most materials, requiring lead bricks for shielding. The harmful effects of radioactivity on health. Radioactivity is present everywhere, whether in the water we drink or from the sun that warms our skin. However, radiation poisoning occurs only when a large quantity of radioactive material emits particles that enter a person's body and cause damage. Different radioactive substances have different characteristics and they can harm and help people in different ways and some are more dangerous than others. Bananas, for example, are radioactive. However, the amount of radiation that you get from eating a banana is negligible. Exposure to high levels of radiation can therefore cause poisoning with a range of symptoms. Nausea and vomiting often begin within hours of exposure, followed by diarrhea, headache, and fever. After the first cycle of symptoms, there may be a short period without apparent illness, but it may be followed by new, more severe symptoms a few weeks later. At higher levels of radiation, for example, after the explosion of a nuclear power plant such as Chernobyl or a nuclear bomb, all these symptoms can appear immediately, as well as extensive lesions of the internal organs. The radiation emitted by the decay of atoms can affect our DNA and our cells and transform them. If the radioactivity is super strong, the cells will destroy themselves so fast that you can die very quickly. And it's very ugly. At lower thresholds, it will affect the growth of our tissues, which can cause cancer. And below a certain threshold, which is endurable, our body can handle it. The parts of the body that are most affected by radiation are the thyroid, bone marrow, lungs, skin, stomach, intestine, and sexual organs. Can we really glow in the dark, have four arms, or develop superpowers by being exposed to radiation? Unfortunately, no. Radiation can alter DNA, but the result is rather chaotic. It is commonly the newborns who are the affected and who can suffer huge abnormalities in the womb of their mother.